in chapter two. The goal is to cover all of these topics. We want to learn how to write a number in scientific notation. We want to write, we want to learn how to write measurements properly. We want to learn about significant figures of measurements. We want to learn about units and their conversions. And we want to learn about density. Let us begin with scientific notation. This is what a number in scientific notation looks like. There are three parts. There is a decimal part. And the most important thing to note here is that the decimal point is after the first number. There is the exponential part. The exponential part has two components, the multiplier and the exponent. The multiplier is usually 10. The exponent is an integer, which means a positive or negative all number. Let us take a look at an example. Take a look at these two numbers. We want to change them into their equivalents in scientific notation. The idea is very straightforward. We would look for the decimal points in both numbers. In this case, it is very obvious. But we know that when you cannot find the decimal point, it is at the end of the last number or zero. So after locating the decimal point, the next thing is to move the decimal point to a position behind the first non-zero number. We want to move the decimal point to this position. We want to move the decimal point to this position. So the goal is to move the decimal point to a position behind the first non-zero number. But to do that, we would need to jump over many numbers and zeros. And we need to count those numbers. Let me begin with the first one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We would need to jump over 14 numbers. So this number, the first number, now becomes 6.022 because the decimal point is now behind the number 6 times 10 to power the 10 is the multiplier and the exponent is 14 but remember we know that the exponent is either a positive or a negative integer how do I know that it is positive 14 the answer is simple. Look at the original number. If the original number is larger than 1, then the exponent will be positive. If the original number, which is in this case, in the second number, if the original number is smaller than 1, then the exponent will be negative. So, how do we change the second number to scientific notation? We move the decimal point to a position behind the 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to jump over 10 numbers. 
So this number becomes 5.67 times 10 to negative 10 because the original number is smaller than 1. Let us take a look at some more examples on how to change a number into scientific notation. Let us begin with question A. The decimal point is not obvious, so we know it is right here. We're going to jump over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to jump over 9 numbers before it lands behind the first non-zero number. So this becomes 3.677 times 10 to the power of 9 because the original number is larger than 1. And in the second example, B, we're going to jump over 1, 2, 3, 4. That the number then becomes 2.4709 times 10 to negative 4 because the original number is smaller than 1. In the last example here, again we can see the decimal, but this original number is larger than 1. Again we want to move the decimal to a position behind the first non-zero number, 1, 2, 3. So the number now becomes 4.5693 times 10 to power of 3 because the original number is larger than 1. We also should know how to convert a number in scientific notation back to the decimal form. So let us look at these three examples. The first example here has an exponent of negative 4. And that tells me that the original number is smaller than 1, which would be 0 point something. So I need to move this decimal in such a way that I will get something that is less than 1. So, if I begin with 3.67, I will need to count 1, 2, 3, 4. The decimal will be here, and this will be zeros, and there will be a zero right here. So, the original number will be 0 0.000367. In the second example, example B, the exponent is a positive, which means the original number should be larger than 1. Well, in this case, the original number is already larger than 1. So we would make it even larger than 1, even bigger. So if we have 715.2 and we want to make it bigger, we would need to count 1, 2, 3. So the decimal is now here, we fill this up with zeros, and the original number would be 715200. And lastly here, the exponent is negative 5, which means I would make the number smaller. So if we have 400 and 85.2 and we want to make it smaller then we're gonna count one two three four five and we fill this with zeros and we uh, the original number would be 0 0.004852 so Converting a number to scientific notations is very straightforward. Converting back from the scientific notation to the decimal form is also very easy. 
Now pause the video and try these questions. Okay, if you get 4.00 times 10 to negative 4 for the first question, you are correct. And for the second question, you should get 5, 6, 7, 0, 0.